How you guys doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Cool if I uh, take something to read for the bus trip? Okay, yeah. What do you think of that question? That's a great question. Yeah, I haven't seen the literature for a while. I used to study the Bible with Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. We have a website now. You can see it's now www.org website. Millions of pages there. Uh, something, it's a new feature. It's been around for a while, a little bit now. I interrupted your conversation. In case I want to have a conversation, you don't want me to have a conversation, you want me to go right to the website. Oh, no, that's no, not, not at all. Come on. No. <laughs> no, you not. jumped on me with go to jw.org if you have any questions. <laughs> can I not ask you guys if I have a question? Sure you can. Oh. Yeah, no, not, not a question. I, I just I used to study the Bible with Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. And it was a really positive experience. I think I learned things studying the Bible with Jehovah's Witnesses. A person isn't going to learn... Anywhere else. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was about 18 when I started studying. Okay. So it really influenced my view of the world and people and yeah. how to be um, a more informed person yeah. from a young age. Yeah. And I think I've been kind of a tough nut to crack ever since because yeah. of how satisfying the answers were at the time. Yeah. yeah. Like, the, I'll never forget the first meeting I went to. Mm -hmm. um, the, the couple that I had been studying with. They were um, sort of, they were picking me up at home, yeah. bringing me to their home to study with them, and then bringing me to school. Yeah. So they were going out of their way for me, and I guess they were they were talking to uh, yeah. other brothers and sisters about me a little bit. Yeah. So that when I finally came to the first meeting, I guess like a month or two after starting to study, it was like everybody in the Kingdom Hall was like, "Are you Stuart? My name's yeah. Stuart, by the way. Zoe. Zoe, nice to meet you, Zoe. Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie, how's it going? Are you Stuart? <laughs> like, are you are you are you this are you this young guy that, uh, that, that that this couple has been telling us about? Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's me, that's me. And like the reaction of yeah. the brothers and sisters there was so positive. Yeah. It was. We so are so happy to see people who are eager to learn and like, it, we really are a family in our congregation, so it's a, yeah, right. it's a big deal when you know someone comes in. We love. We when love did them. when did when did y'all get the truth? Um, I was raised in the truth. Okay. Um, I was baptized when I was 13, and so I've been, and my parents were also raised in the truth. So. Oh, so that makes you a second generation, yes, I guess? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. What about yourself? When, uh, um, when were you raised? My parents got baptized when I was 8 years old. Okay. Yeah, and I got baptized at 14. Oh, yeah, nice so one. It's, it's been a while, too, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's hard. Like, you have to make the truth our own, especially at a young age. Like, everyone has to make that choice. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I got baptized when I was 24. Mm -hmm. So I started studying when I was 18. I had other stuff going on. And then when I turned 24, it was time, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But then, um, you know, I kind of had a problem with uh, some, of the, some of the things that I was learning. Mm -hmm. like, I, like I was saying, like, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a tough nut to crack. I like to do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. So I um, kept <laughs> discovering that what... According to Watchtower, the Bible was really teaching wasn't what it always used to really teach. And I kept discovering that like eight, nine, ten times. Mm -hmm. So then I had to ask myself, okay, well, it, it, it certainly feels good to feel like I belong in a congregation and to yeah. be making friends for life and to feel like I'm a, a true Christian standing out in a world of blinded unbelievers. I, it feels good. Mm -hmm. It feels good to get dressed up and come to a kingdom hall and have my watchtower ready and reach mm -hmm. out and be an auxiliary pioneer then a regular pioneer and fast forward five ten years I like my chances of uh, surviving Armageddon I like my chances of being able to greet people in the resurrection but back up a second is what I believe really true so I started thinking is something true because more and more people believe it and spread it and translate it and feel good about doing it or is something true because it proves to be as true tomorrow as it did today and the day before mm -hmm. and unfortunately I wasn't able to say that about what Jehovah's Witnesses teach right well I'm sorry you feel that way so is that how you feel now absolutely that's how I feel now yeah yeah so you're not one you're not studying anymore definitely not studying anymore yeah are you are you a witness? I am. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you're keeping are you keeping an eye? You get you? to do. Are you counting time? You can well, count time now. Yeah. <laughs> that is so perfect. Yeah. No. Are you pioneering? No. 
Yeah, but you, you're going on your break. That's I great. Am, yeah. Yes. Where'd you guys go for your break? Uh, is there a Starbucks around here? No, it's Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're familiar with the idea that knowledge is <coughs> progressive, right? We don't know everything all at once. Okay. And that's what you're you've experienced. Like when I took uh -huh. the truth, we studied the the truth book. Right. And we had when you took the truth, you studied the truth book. Yeah. I well, was, then you must have I had was only the truth. Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> like she said, she was baptized at fourteen. She said she was baptized. Yeah, at I was noticing that. I, I I like to ask brothers and sisters about when they the when they got baptized. Yeah, me too. Not raised in the truth. Nice one. But got baptized at seventeen. But the truth has always basically been the same, as far as basic understanding. There is no hellfire. Every witness explains this differently. Anyway, go ahead. There is no hellfire. Uh -huh. The soul is not immortal. Okay. All good people do not... That's a nice checklist you got going there. You know there's a checklist uh, of things that Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe as well, that's like pretty long too. Anyway, oh, go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All good people don't go to heaven. That's right. Right. Okay. Um, like, I could. The list I know you can. On, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Because I was talking about it was I was talking about I kept finding out that what I believed wasn't true anymore according to new light and changes, and that discouraged me. Why can't it be as true today so as it was before? So what were some before? specific things? Oh, I mean, um, you know, celebrations, transplants, blood. Aluminum, facial hair, uh, dress and grooming, the faithful aluminum. and discreet slave, the generation, um, uh, the generation, the superior authority is the different interpretation of those verses, right? Organizational policy, like prior to 1948, Watchtower was against shunning. You guys know that? Was against this fellowshipping. And then it was in 1981 that it became shunning as well. And so the thing is, like, when um, Satan lied to Eve, he was effectively killing her with her with his words. When he came up to her and was like, is it really so? Just with those four words? Is it really so? He's trying to kill her effectively by getting her to eat the fruit. That's his agenda. Let me take you down this line of reasoning to get you to eat the fruit. Why kill somebody when you can get them to kill themselves if you want them dead? I mean, that is how you kill somebody. So, so what was the ultimate issue back then? So the issue, the issue is that Watchtower, no, no, through no, their no. policies... Oh, no, let me finish. Oh, I wasn't finished. Okay. So Watchtower, through their policies, not through biblical truth, but through organizational policies that keep changing, meaning they're not biblical truth, because biblical truth doesn't need to change, like we're talking about blood and shunning, and abuse reporting, Watchtower's changing stance on those issues has gotten Jehovah's Witnesses to kill themselves. Arguably more Jehovah's Witnesses have killed themselves than have been killed by any other organization in the world. Well, like, I would say that that's erroneous reasoning. Tell me about it. Yeah. First of all, you use the example of Adam and Eve. Uh-huh. Of where Satan got Satan, Eve Satan to kill herself. Killing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was the issue back then? Why, why, why that did Satan wanted to kill Eve? Well, that wasn't the issue. He didn't just go. Well, there were a lot of issues. He didn't just go and want to kill Eve. See, you now you want to control the conversation. You uh, see, I, I I use a line of reasoning. You don't want to see the point I'm making. You no, want to, you, I, I you want to back point. up and, and and broaden it. And if I was too broad, you want to bring it in and target it. I've noticed that about Jehovah's Witnesses. You guys want to control conversations, or you want to be flattered by conversations. And if you can't do either, like, I'm not flattering you right now, you know I'm not, and I'm not letting you control the conversation. So now, now I'm persecuting you, aren't I? Now you're being persecuted. Or now you're being ridiculed because I'm calm. But when people who've left this organization and don't want anything to do with it come up to you and we're angry, then we're persecuting you. So, so since you're happy to come and discuss this with us, yes. what, what is your agenda? My agenda is to make sure that people don't make the gigantic mistake I made in not waking up sooner. So why would you even have that in your hand? Why would I even have this in my hand? Yeah. Because I'm always interested in learning more about what people think about the Bible and that how they're interpreting it. 
Well, I told you I'm a student, right? I, I'm, I'm into but being if you honest. you to refute right. what we believe, yeah. then why would you say you're interested in what... Why believe? would I say I'm interested? Yeah. Because I'm interested in hearing all sides of a story. That's something you guys are never going to be able to do while but you're Jehovah's Witnesses. now you cut me off. You're really? not interested. Well, because I've been standing where you're standing. You haven't addressed the idea of watchtower policy getting Jehovah's Witnesses to kill themselves in greater numbers than any other one else has come out and just flat out killed them. Are those numbers I, wrong? I disagree with that. You disagree with that? Well, we can agree to disagree. We're, we're Unfortunately, we're never going to be able to have those numbers because the only people in a position to keep track of those numbers is Watchtower. And of course, they're not going to do that. But fortunately, other organizations are forming now and statistics are being discovered. Abuse cases are being discovered. And... Uh, Two witness rules that are making it possible for pedophiles to get away with molesting children are being brought forth. Well, that's, that's, and your that's whole, a lie as well. It's a lie. Yeah. The Australian Royal Commission was uh, a lie? I don't know about that. Interesting. See, that's, that's where you and I differ. I, I do know about that. I am interested in being informed, which is why I'm taking the magazine. And we, we you might take, look that up. We take a stand against pedophiles. Uh, well, of course we you do. We don't promote that. Of that's course you don't promote it. It's not about promoting it. It's about making it possible for pedophiles to go it. unpunished. That's, that's not true. Well, unfortunately, it is true. In over a thousand cases in Australia. Well, I, I know because I read letters. You just finished saying that you don't know about the Australian no, Royal Commission. I know our stand on pedophiles. You should hear yourself. I know our stand on pedophiles. Okay, are you an elder? And you're unaware of it. Are you an elder? I am. Okay, so in the Shepherd the Flock of God book on page 72, that if there's a case of child sexual abuse and there isn't a second witness, you leave it in Jehovah's hands. You guys know about the Shepherd the Flock of God book? You know it's a secret elder's manual, right? It's you can find it online. It isn't called that anymore? Okay, but is there still a page 72 talking about leave it in Jehovah's hands? It's probably not even I love that you're leaving. I love that you're leaving now. You can't figure out how to defend your faith. You've got to drive the bus. That's right. Yeah, you'll see yourself on YouTube, by the way. Come on in here. Yeah, you'll see yourself on YouTube. Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. You scan my card. The Shepherd the Flock of God book anymore. Go ahead. What's it called? <laughs> Why should I tell you? You're using the <laughs> So there's no, there's no page 72 in the Shepherd of Flock of God, but telling you guys to leave matters in Jehovah's hands if there isn't a second witness. That's not policy anymore? You guys don't employ the two witness rule? Of course, it, it's biblical, right? It's biblical, right. Does it apply still in the uh, case of child sexual abuse? Well, first of all, going back to my original question. <laughs> Your original question. You brought it up. Yeah. I brought up a lot of things. You didn't really address any of them. Adam and Eve. Uh -huh. saying that I said Satan and Eve. Well, he killed Eve. Look what you're doing. By her words. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, but what was the original issue? Back up even further, you're saying. No. Right then and there. What was the issue? What sovereignty. Was, was Let me guess. Trying, Let me guess. The issue is sovereignty. Trying, exactly. Yeah. What was he trying to accomplish? Kill Eve? No. Yeah. No. Right. He could care less about That was just the means to an end. That's right. Right. That's right. Just like Watchtower getting Jehovah's Witnesses to kill themselves is just a means to an end. Well, that's your words. It certainly that's is my words, yeah. And, now, and what does history show? Like an honest examination of Watchtower history. How many witnesses have killed themselves after being abused and having that abuse treated as though it never happened because there wasn't a second witness? How many Jehovah's Witnesses have gone on to kill themselves uh, after being shunned by their families and not having any contact with friends and family they've known forever and not being able to cope? And of course, how many Jehovah's Witnesses have martyred themselves in a hospital bed? See, there is no answer to that question because no one's keeping track of that, and that's why we're doing this work now. We would like some disclosure. Who are we? Uh, apostates. Oh. Uh, yeah. You're, you're talking to a full-blown apostate. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I've turned my back on God. That just means I've turned my back on Watchtower. So you're a because by by by, by by being by being. Yeah, well, see, your definition of the word is just your definition of the word. When I say apostate, it's just to give you an idea. What it really means is that somebody who's left their former religious beliefs, it has nothing to do with a person turning their back on God. Some sort of That's washed out. 
That's the beauty of the work that we're doing. There is no organization and there is no identifying mark except that we're honest about our search for truth and we're really courageous about confronting Jehovah's Witnesses. When you, when you say we, who are we? Well, we're starting up. I mean, I, I don't... Um, we're kind of a motley crew. Most of us are ex-witnesses. Um, I know somebody who's doing this work who's been a witness his entire life. And uh, he's doing similar work like this, and we're making similar points. And what's interesting, what's unifying us, is that the footage is revealing that the reaction to it is always the same. <laughs> like I was saying about like if Jehovah's Witnesses can't control the conversation, or if the conversation doesn't flatter them somehow, they shut down. You know? So you, you, you got to publish a... Uh a script, scriptures inspired book. Oh, so you're saying, yeah, well, you should try to do what we've done and see where you are in 130 no, no, years. No, 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 no. Why did you say that then? Yeah, I should publish a, a scriptures inspired book. Because, because we actually have. You, you don't. You're not familiar with the scriptures inspired book. No, but why did you say to me I should? We should go off and try to publish a scriptures inspired book. It's, it's, it's the same see thing. See how it measures do. up. It's, no, no, it's the same thing we do uh -huh. in order to try and overcome conversation stoppers. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But the problem is that, like, what you taught is truth, once upon a time, you no longer teach is truth. And like I'm saying, and I, I was talking to somebody the other day. And that's actually a good thing. You know it's why? a good thing? Yeah. Really? Because if you are stuck in the mud of uh -huh. what you formally believe, uh -huh. then you're not progressing. But what's the footage of it? What has changes on, in your stand on blood and shunning and abuse reporting and other policies? produced as a result. Like, how many Jehovah's Witnesses were killing themselves before the changes on blood and shunning and abuse reporting prior to 48? How many Witnesses have died in the last 60, 60 years thanks to your policies? No one knows the watchtower, and it'd be good to see you guys keep track of it, because we're, 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 we're tired of your crap. We're tired of your crap. I'm not going anywhere. You're going to see me there again. So tell the elders, this is me. I'm not afraid to be photographed. We're not going anywhere, man. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, I okay, won't. Well, sorry, matter, passengers. Matter, but your bus driver protects pedophiles. Ask him about it. <laughs>